Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or evening. Um, we are going to be doing breakfast burritos, and I have eggs, I have cheese, I have bacon, I'm going to have cookies to mix in, a cookie sheet, and a tortillas or something. Okay, first we're going to start with these ingredients, and I'm going to show you how I do my breakfast burritos, and uh, today is just uh, bacon, there's going to be no sausage. In the oven. I want to use about six eggs. Now, I always check my eggs. When you look at your eggs, you're going to make sure there's no cracks. The reason is, is that if you have a cracked egg, it's bad because it's one, it's one bad. Like it, the air touches it, you can actually get botulism from them. So you want to make sure your egg is not cracked. The membrane can't be cracked or anything. And you just get really sick if you eat a bad egg. And that'll ruin it. And never put your eggs shells back in the carton. Because that will also spoil your eggs. And you should always use your eggs within the expiration date of your cart. Um, on your carton, that is. On the end of your carton, it will have the date or when it can be used. Now, I will say you can probably get away with a week or so after the expiration date, but I wouldn't go too far after it. And two, four, five. And then you can always Use the water test and dunk them in the water. Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to show you how I blend mine. And I start with whipping it like that. And if you take it and you flip it under like this, you'll get a better 
flush. Okay, so what I do is I usually add just a tad of water, not much, just a, just a little bit, and then I whip it. That'll create fluffiness. Uh, my eggs will be fluffy when I cook them. And if you want to use a little whisk, that will be fine. Okay. Now, to the skillet. Now, I've already preheated my skillet. And that being said, that will help it. You don't want it too high, only because it will cause it to scorch. Never add salt to your eggs that will cause them to go flat while you're cooking. Turn the, oops, turn the heat off so they don't scorch. And you can actually lift them off the burner and the pan is so hot that it continues to cook. Pretty. Okay. As you can see, the bacon has cooked. And then what I'm going to do is is this, I'm just going to remove these off and I'm going to put them on a plate and let them cool for a minute and nice and golden. Not easy. So standing over the stove. Try not to let them cook on the cookie sheet because they usually stick to it. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to begin to load our burrito up. So we're going to take a slice of cheese. And I usually use about, depending on how big I want it, but I usually just stick about half of it in the middle. All depends on how creamy and cheesy you want it. Then I'm going to take... piece of bacon and you can put over how much if you want to do a small piece a large piece break it up however you want to do it I'm going to take some egg Fold this over like this, and then I'm going to roll it like this, just like that. And then I'm going to do the next one. Okay, so we're going to take a piece of bacon. I'm going to slide it over a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of egg. I'm going to put it in here. Oh, I've got my cheese. You can add your cheese whenever you want. If you want to add it to the beginning or the end, now's a good time to do it. That. And like that. And however big you want them. Take it, turn your plate, fold it over, and then just roll it. 
like that. I'll do it one more time. Tortilla. Eat my cheese. And if you want to do your cheese, a lot of cheese. Or you can use shredded cheese, however you want to do it. Put your bacon in. Roll it over. And roll. Now I'm going to stick this in the microwave just for a few minutes. Just to heat the tortillas up a little bit and the cheese. And we're good to go.